Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has made a couple of new builds available to the Windows 11 insiders on the 1st of June. And the first is for the Dev Channel insiders with build 23471. And then the next pair are for the beta channel 22621 and 22631.1830. And the beta channel was updated with the update KB5026443. Now, just to go through a couple of the new features um, that have rolled out um, between those builds. First of all, starting with the dev channel build, 23471. And uh, um, Microsoft, as we can see from the red highlighted um, rectangle, that they've added phone photos now in the File Explorer gallery. Where is there is this new button now uh, in the command bar titled Add Phone Photos that uh, basically Microsoft says will help with setting up your PC to be ready to show your photos in the gallery and if you click um, on this button um, it will open a URL with a QR code that you can scan with your phone to get started so that's add phone photos now being tested uh, in the file explorer gallery um, for the dev channel insiders moving on to the next and this is regarding the lock screen and Microsoft say with this as we can see in the screenshot they have updated the network flyout on the lock screen to align with Windows 11 design principles. So just taking on a more modern look and feel to match that of Windows 11. And then just to do um, a couple of quick mentions uh, for the dev channel. Um, they've also introduced new natural voices for the narrator. So currently if we just head over to narrator in the stable version as an example. And as many of you may know, narrator is a screen reader. That describes what's on your screen so microsoft say they are now introducing new natural voices in spanish spain and mexico that allow narrator users to comfortably browse the web read and write mail and do more and um, they carry on to say that natural narrator voices use modern on-device text to speech and once downloaded are supported without an internet connection which i think is a nice move so um, that's narrator improvements now being tested in the deaf channel and just to do another quick mention, um, currently in the stable version, if we head to the File Explorer, there is no option to be able to drag a tab um, from the File Explorer into its own window, where this is now changing in the dev channel. And finally, Microsoft now are beginning to roll out the ability to tear out and merge tabs in File Explorer. So basically, you'll be able to drag a tab into its own window and vice versa. Now, although that's not available in the stable version, if we just head over to the notepad, I can demonstrate more or less what to expect using the notepad, which also has tab support. So as you can see, this is more or less how it will work. If I drag that tab, you can open up that tab in its own window, and then I can drag it back, and that will place it back into the main body and main window, in this case, in the um, notepad, but that will be rolling out and should be rolling out in an up and coming update to Windows 11, where they now are beginning to roll out the ability to tear out and merge tabs in File Explorer now being tested in the dev channel. So that's um, what's new in the dev channel. Now moving over to um, the uh, beta channel and for the beta channel, um, it's only really build 22631 that has one new feature. And I'm just going to make quick mention of this. Um, Microsoft say they have added WPA3 support to the phone link instant hotspot feature for more secure connections to a phone's hotspot. Um, they've also made fixes to respect metered connection settings, um, reduce duplicate profiles, and show the phone's display name in the network list. So a couple of um, phone link um uh, improvements rolling out and I think adding WPA3 support to the phone link is a nice move as I would say uh, in the right direction and if we just head back to the release notes um, for build 23471 for the dev channel over and above those new improvements and fixes which we have had a quick look at we also get the fixes that have rolled out because this is still early days so there are a couple of fixes that Microsoft um, will address and issues that Microsoft will address in the dev channel and over and above that we get known issues because it is still early days and obviously this is um, one of your first point of calls when it comes to testing new features so you will get a couple of known issues so that's what's new in build 23471 for this week's dev channel insiders and builds builds 2261 and 22631 as mentioned only get that one networking feature so not much really going on in the beta channel for this week so that's what's new more or less rolling out 
to the Dev and Beta Channel Insiders this week. And those updates rolled out on the 1st of June. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.